Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Lib Leader, and I have 26 facts about me. Fact number one. My favorite video game series of all time is Pokemon, second place being tied with Fire Emblem and Legend of Zelda, while my favorite video game of all time is Star Wars Knights of the Republic. Good memories. Fact number two. Before you ask, my favorite Pokemon of all time is Absol, my favorite type is Ghost, and my favorite region is Hoenn. Fact number three. I never watch TV, only exceptions are anime and Netflix, but I usually watch those on my tablet or my computer. Fact number four. I have two siblings, one older sister named Kiana and one younger brother named Joel, both of them being four years apart from me. I'm the middle child. Fact number five. I have currently recorded in five different locations, first being my old apartment where I recorded my first Let's Play until halfway through LEGO Star Wars 3, and my second house being my old house where I recorded Call of Duty 4 all the way up to Legend of Spyro A New Beginning. I now live in a bigger house where I grew up in before my first apartment. I have also recorded in two of my other friends' houses. Fact number six. When I was younger, I fell into our house's pool, and when my dad came to look for me a few seconds later, I was at the bottom of the pool. After my dad got me out of the pool, I was just fine and continued to play. That's why most people say I'm a good swimmer today. Speaking of swimming, fact number seven. I have always been a swimmer since I was very young. I always loved the water. From my first swim lessons as a kid, to water polo, which sucked, to normal competitive swimming, I've competed in swim meets, CIF championships, and even helped coach and teach little kids how to swim. Fact number eight. My favorite series of all time has to be Star Wars. I've watched all the films at least ten times each, played all the games, yes, all of them, and read over a dozen different books. I can name any planet and its region, native species, atmosphere, environment, and almost all of its history. I can describe anything within the Star Wars universe, species, characters, vehicles, technology, droids, allegiances, planets, systems, wars, battles, dates, periods, eras, places, historical events, force powers, combat styles, lightsaber crystals, anything. Yeah, I'm a nerd. Fact number nine. Outer space fascinates me. I have always been interested the most in science as a kid, and it has always been my favorite class, even now. But astronomy has always interested me the most. I am building towards majoring in astronomy and becoming an astronomer one day. I know a bunch of facts about space that amaze a lot of people, too. For example, did you know there are more stars in the Milky Way than there are on Earth? Let that sink in. Fact number 10. I've broken my arm three times so far, and all the times were dumb on my part. I broke it in the same place, my left wrist, all three times, and it still feels really weak there. I feel ghost pain sometimes from when I broke it, and just between you and me, I think I might have broken it again recently, but I didn't go to get it checked or tell anyone. Yeah, sorry, Mom. Fact number 11. I love rainy weather. Being a Southern Californian, I have always loved the cold and hated the heat. Whenever it is cloudy out, I feel more energized and usually get more stuff done. Yeah, I'm the complete opposite from the stereotypical downer when it's cloudy and gloomy out, but I played in the rain all the time when I was little and I never stopped for one second. And playing out in the rain may have been one of the ways I broke my arm. Fact number 12. I have always had a huge imagination and looked at things a lot differently from my friends. When I was younger, I wanted to be a movie maker and a director. That dream obviously changed, but I still like to reminisce on the times I spent as a kid, always playing with my toy Nerf guns and swords and lightsabers outside with my brother and friends. We used to make our own stories, and I can't say they were the best, but they hold a special place in my heart. Good times. Fact number 13. I have never once in my entire life won a thumb war match. I don't know why. Fact number 14. As a child, I was the only one within my friend group to own a Dreamcast and actually know what a Dreamcast was. I still own my Dreamcast, but I doubt I'll ever get a chance to record off of it. The consoles I've owned in my entire life have been a Dreamcast, a PlayStation 1 and 2, an Xbox and Xbox 360, a Wii, a Wii U, every kind of Game Boy and DS system, a PlayStation Portable, and a PC if you want to count that. Fact number 15. I met Ashish through an online game of zombies in Call of Duty Black Ops. He said hi, and I said hi back, and they left the lobby. I later joined an Xbox party with Ashish and friends so we could play a round of zombies and try and do the easter egg for the map Call of the Dead. Ashish and I carried the team, but we failed the easter egg. Afterwards, Ashish and I friended each other on Xbox, but we didn't really talk to each other for a few weeks, until one event. 
the one event when I joined the party and asked if I do a project on survival mode in Modern Warfare 3 with another player, who would like to join? And Ashish replied with, I will. What's the worst that could happen? And the rest is history. Ever since Survival with Ashish, we've gotten to know each other uh, a little bit more, and I guess you could say we've gotten closer. Freaking Ashish. Fact number 16. I was planning on creating a Draw My Life video for an occasion, but my life really isn't that interesting. I know many people have said that and still made one, but like I said, my whole life isn't very interesting except for these facts. Also, those videos are outdated now anyway. Fact number 17. One day while I was shopping with my grandmother, about 12 or so years ago, we pulled up to the mall and me and my outstandingly ADD brain saw this amazing car. I don't even remember what it was. Probably a truck or something of that sort, but anyway, I stuck my head outside the window without acknowledging the window was being rolled up. Yeah, you can probably see where that was going. I got my head stuck in the window. Fact number 18. My favorite food is Hawaiian. To be specific, it would be Spam Musubi. Yes, most people I talk to think it's the worst thing on the planet, but I love it. Fact number 19. If I had three wishes without cheating, I would wish for an unlimited supply of airheads, the old Star Wars The Old Republic back, and to be able to explore the stars without worrying about stuff like vacuum of space and impossibility to get farther than Mars, stuff like that. Fact number 20. The origin of 26 and fui. Okay, so before you ask, the catchphrase fui comes from the anime Air, and I usually use it as a farewell in real life and in my videos. 26 is a number. The first time I really started using it as a catchphrase was in a game of League of Legends. We were, you can say, counter-trolling the other team when they asked us for our levels. I immediately said 26, for it was the first thing that popped in my head, and for the rest of the game I was using 26 as a mascot. Afterwards I left to record a sitting of Black Ops 2, and I mentioned 26, and it's all been downhill from that. Fact number 21. As for my name, I had a lot of names for my channel when I was starting up four years ago. I went through so many names, it's hard to name all of them, but I should mention the name I was about to use until last second I changed it to Live Leader. The original name for my channel was going to be Star Wars Dude 1996. Yeah, and you thought Live Leader was bad. I named it that because my love for Star Wars, as you already know, and 1996 being the year I was born. It wasn't very creative, but it was good enough for me. I was about to record the first Let's Play when I remembered my Xbox Live ID, Lived Leader. The name Lived Leader was a randomly generated name from Xbox that came up after I put in the keyword Commando. Considering Lived Leader was the only name I saw without any X's or numbers in it, like XX Commando 123 or something like that, I chose it and decided it meant I live to lead or I am a leader who lives. But in the end, I think it just means something along the lines of, I was a leader, then I died. Still, it has been my name for almost everything ever since. Fact number 22. The inspiration I got to make Let's Plays was from a Let's Player named SonicDude101. SonicDude101 was the very first Let's Player I had ever seen. I was browsing through the internet one day, and I decided to watch the ending now to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, just for nostalgia and because it's freaking epic. I saw the first video and clicked on it. After it started, I realized it had commentary. I continued to watch and loved his commentary because it was my first Let's Play I had seen. After the video ended, I decided to watch all of his videos of his Sonic Adventure 2 playlist. He inspired me to make Let's Plays, and for that, I thank him. Fact number 23. There were a few first Let's Plays I had. I originally planned on making Star Wars Knights of the Republic my first LP, and tried recording it, but it failed many times due to it being too complicated for me as a new Let's Player, and I knew that, so I stopped. I also tried recording Just Cause 2, but that was also a failure in the end. One Let's Play I tried recording many times throughout my career, and promised I could do, but never did, is Star Wars Empire at War. It all goes back to before I had the hardware required to record, but I was on YouTube and ready. I had one follower, someone who I had promised I would make an LP of Empire at War to. If that person is still out there following me, then I apologize for never doing it. I can't find a way to record it now due to my PC being messed up. I want to make clear that this is one promise I have always remembered and hope to fulfill one day. Fact number 24. I had a lot of personal things I could have shared during this video, but ultimately chose not to. But there is one thing I am willing to share. I was born with a hole in my neck. 
Not too big and wide, but it was still quite a problem. I was very sensitive, and still am, to that area of my neck. Now the hole wasn't big enough for me to worry about it bleeding or me being able to stick something into it and be able to touch my trachea, but it did ooze mucus and pus daily. When I was about 8 years old, I went to the hospital to get stitched up. Once I had it stitched up, the oozing stopped and I was left with a scar on my neck from where it was. Today you can still see it and for some reason it grows hair right on the scar and nowhere else on my neck. If you ever see me and wonder, then that's the story of why. Fact number 25. I trained and became a certified lifeguard at the age of 15-ish. The training was very fun but also hardworking and debatably not worth considering I never used my lifeguard certification in my life. But I have fond memories of the time and actually quite a few good stories. One of them being like I was a freaking cartoon character or a TV character. For instance, when we were doing the training on how to save someone from the bottom of a 12 foot deep pool, I got paired up with the biggest guy there. And let me remind you, I was not as strong as I am now, swimming wise and just in general. So I felt like a TV character or something with the way my luck was going. It may not sound hard to you beasts out there, but when you're a skinny little 15 year old trying to grab and bring up a giant dude probably three times my size and in his 20s and keep him out of the water while swimming to the edge, it's a hard task. But very fun memories besides that. Fact number 26! Now here is my 26th fact. Machine. Oh gosh, that was horrible. I'm sorry. I can't take all the facts, but she had so. <laughs>